dilutions. When we talk about dilutions, we're basically saying that we're taking a solution and we're watering it down. So we're adding water to a particular stock solution to achieve a desired molarity. And when we talk about dilutions, we need to consider the fact that the moles of solute doesn't change when we dilute a solution. The amount of solute that's dissolved before we dilute the solution is the same as the amount of moles of solute after. <clears throat> the difference is that now we've got more solvent, which waters down or dilutes our solution. Only water is added the solute is not added or subtracted during a dilution. When we look at our equation, our equation is going to be M1V1 equals M2V2. So when we solve this particular problem, we'll have M1V1 equals M2V2 the ones meaning the initial molarity and volume, the twos meaning the final molarity and volume. So our question says, what volume of 16 molar sulfuric acid must be used to prepare 1.5 liters of a 0 0.10 molar sulfuric acid solution? So our original solution starts out as 16 molar. And we want to know what volume of that 16 molar uh, sulfuric acid do we need? We want to end up with 0 0.10 molar and we want 1.5 liters of it. So what volume of 16 molar stock solution do we need to make 1.5 liters of 0 0.10 molar? So we're going to divide both sides by 16 molar. Molar cancels out. We'll be left with volume. And we'll get 0 0.0094 liters of solution. That's kind of an awkward number. So if we multiply that by 1,000, that would give us 9.4 milliliters. So what that means is we would measure out 9.4 milliliters of 16 molar sulfuric acid added to a 1.5 liter volumetric flask start to add water and as we add water the moles of solute doesn't change but the volume of solution changes so our solution becomes diluted it gets smaller and smaller and once we dilute it down to 1.5 liters our new molarity will be 0 0.10 molar. So here's another problem. A solution is prepared by dissolving 10.8 grams of ammonium sulfate. All right, let's write a formula for that. Ammonium is NH4. Sulfate is SO4. Sulfate is a minus 2. Ammonium is a plus 1. So there's our formula. We're going to add it to enough water to make 100 milliliters of a stock solution. And then we're going to take 10 milliliters of that stock solution. Aliquot just means a portion of. So 10 milliliters of this original solution, and we're going to add 50 milliliters of water to it. What will the concentration of the ammonium and the sulfate ions be in the final solution? So we've actually kind of got three parts to this problem. Our first problem, we're going to calculate what the molarity of the stock solution is. And then, we're going to calculate what the molarity is when we dilute it. And finally, we're going to calculate the concentration of each of the ions in the solution. So we have 10.8 grams of ammonium sulfate. And let's convert that to moles. So one mole of ammonium sulfate is 132 0.16 grams. So that'll give us, with three significant digits, 0 0.00817 moles of ammonium sulfate. Now we'll calculate our molarity. Molarity equals 
moles of solute per liter of solution. So we've got 0 0.00817 moles in 0 0.1000 liters. Again, we're going to take the milliliters and convert it to liters. And that'll give us 0 0.0817 molar for our stock solution. Now we're going to do a dilution problem. So M1V1 equals M2V2. So our original molarity for our stock solution is 0 0.0817 molar. We're going to take 10 milliliters of that, which we're going to convert to liters, so 0 0.01000 liters. What will the new molarity be if we add 50 milliliters of water? Well, if we have 50 milliliters of water to 10 milliliter aliquot of our stock solution, that gives us 60 milliliters total, or 0 0.06000 liters. We're going to divide both sides by 0 0.0600 liters and we're going to get 0 0.0136 molar. So the solution was 0 0.0817 molar. When we add water to it, now it's going to be 0 0.0136 molar. Now the last part of our problem asks us what's the concentration of each ion. So if we have ammonium sulfate and it dissolves in water and breaks up into ions, we're going to have ammonium ions and sulfate ions in solution, but we need to have a balanced equation. There's two ammonium ions here, so we need two ammonium ions here. There's one sulfate and there's one sulfate. So now if we look at this equation, we have 0 0.0136 moles per liter of ammonium sulfate. If it's a 1 to 2 ratio to ammonium ions, we're going to have 0 0.0272 moles per liter of ammonium ions and it's a 1 to 1 ratio to sulfate, so 0 0.0136 moles per liter of sulfate ion.